What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to talk about Dallas versus Minnesota. We're going to discuss one concept that Minnesota is employing on defense and what they hope to accomplish with it in stopping the one, the only, the Luka Doncic. Let's go. So two things we know about Minnesota is they are long, they're athletic. They use this to great effect against Denver. However, they're employing a different tactic against, against Luka than they did against Denver. And this is because Luka is so effective with the ball in his hands. So when we see a ball screen, primarily in game one, we didn't see this with Gobert so much as setting the screen, but we saw more with Cat. But in game two, we actually saw a little bit of with with Gobert as well. On this ball screen, what are they doing? Okay. Cat was originally defending P.J. Washington. What did he do? He went up to hard hedge on the ball screen. When Cat comes up to hard hedge on this ball screen, the goal is to force Luka to take two steps backwards where he no, doesn't have any passes and essentially make it so Cat can recover to P.J. Washington before Dallas is able to do anything. Okay. So Luka is essentially like, Okay, a little bit of a trouble situation. Here we can see Gobert handles it differently where he has dropped back, still hedges a little bit, but is much more farther back because his player is a non-shooter. Okay? And so this is one concept that could allow Luka to have to play one-on-one -on -one with athletic guards. So when Minnesota employs this tactic, essentially what they're saying is our best bet on defense is to say Luka Doncic play one-on-one -on -one with Jade McDaniels and we can show help behind it. Okay? However, we see this not just with Luka Doncic. We are also seeing this with Kyrie. Obviously, Kyrie and Luka both have very good skill sets, passing, driving, keeping the play alive, and creating for themselves. And we see, again, this trap right here. This is one thing. If you're going to set a ball screen this high in this corner, I really actually like that concept a lot. However, Kyrie is able to thread the ball through there. I'm not entirely sure how he got it through there, but kudos to him. Hey, and this creates a bit of an advantage. So that's the thing is if you can hit this roller right here, you are going to have briefly a five on four interaction. And let's see if Dallas is able to capitalize. So what instantly happens is Kyrie gets the ball right here. And then Kyrie doesn't just chill back here. Okay, A lot of players, after they move the ball once, they kind of stay where they're at. Kyrie instantly recognizes they have an advantage and he goes to the open space, runs to the near side corner, creates an unbelievably easy look. Ants is a little bit slow recovering on defense. And it allows Kyrie to create a little bit of an advantage because of the slow recovery time. And then Kyrie, <laughs> that's an unbelievable shot. Kyrie played so well to start this game. He, like, he's on a different level, 100% different level. All right, example number three. Again, Minnesota, we're seeing how they set the ball screen. What is going to happen? We're looking at Cat. Is he going to hard hedge? Hey, he comes up to the level. One concept that Dallas went to right here is instead of being super clear with which side he's going to set this screen, P.J. Washington approaches from this left side, so Cat has to get up here, but instead P.J. Washington just flips to the other side, and that makes it so Cat is two steps in the wrong direction. Okay, that puts a lot more pressure on Jaden McDaniels, and then also a lot more pressure on the defense. Okay, so Luka is able to get into space, and because Jaden McDaniels had to go around the screen, he gets caught on it a little bit more, falls to the ground, and that creates an open look for P.J. Washington. So because Cat can no longer recover to P.J. Washington because Jaden McDaniels is out of the play, it puts more stress on the defense, and that is one wrinkle that Dallas went to to try and exploit Minnesota hard hedging on the screens. Hope you enjoyed this content. Have a blessed rest of your day.